and welcome to Season 14, Episode 18 of Eagle News. Today is Wednesday, October 7th, 2020, and happy National Frappe Day. Go get your favorite frappe drink today. My name is Addie. And my name is Eleni. Remember, students, there is no school on the 16th, so have fun on your free day. Make sure you're washing your hands and sanitizing after each class. Now for today's first video segment. Eleni and I decided to head to Starbucks and do a review of their new fall drinks. Roll it! And today we're going to be reviewing some of these Starbucks fall drinks. Now Ohio hasn't officially transitioned into the season of fall, but we figured trying these drinks would be a great way to kick off the official start of the season. Let's, Let's go! Starbucks offers an array of fall drinks. The pumpkin spice latte, the salted caramel mocha, and the pumpkin spice cold brew. We're going to be using our own individual straws so we don't spread our germs. So first we're going to be trying the Pumpkin Spice Latte, which is very popular. <gasps> so personally, that was not my favorite drink. It had a weird aftertaste to it. It was a little bit too sweet. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Eleni? Um, I loved it very, very much. It tasted so good. It tasted like fall. So I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. So next we are going to be trying the Salted Caramel Mocha Drink. This is a new addition to Starbucks Fall Menu. This drink, because it tasted really chocolatey, and then the aftertaste was like the caramel part, and it tasted really good. I give it a 10 out of 10. This drink was pretty good. I liked it a decent amount. Um, I liked it a little bit more than the Pumpkin Spice Latte, um, however, it still wasn't my favorite, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. So this is the pumpkin spice cold brew, and we suggest you stir it so you get all the flavors in there. Have it all stirred, and we are going to taste it. So I think this is going to be becoming one of my fall favorites because this was really good. The pumpkin flavor was just right, but it wasn't too overwhelming, and I love a good cold brew, so I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. Um, I really like this drink because it's like the good amount of coffee flavor to pumpkin flavor and the cream makes it taste like sweet. This a 10 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video, Eagles, and found a new fall drink to try. Have a great day. Bye! Bye. We had a great time tasting those yummy drinks. Yeah, they tasted great. Don't forget to check out the PTO's website that was posted on school again by Mr. Meta. You can buy t-shirts, sweatshirts, and these lanyards and OHMS masks. Check it out. Now let's head to Emily in the Eagles News Weather Report Station for today's weather. Thanks, Eleni. There's not a lot going on in North America today on our weather map, but check out this snow system on Ontario, Canada. And then down here in Florida, we have a system brewing in the Gulf of Mexico, which is causing a lot of rain in the central Florida region. Today in Powell it is going to be a little warmer than most of our fall days with a high of 67 degrees and a low of 43 at nighttime. There is no rain expectancy either. Skies will be sunny and bright. Enjoy this beautiful day. Let's go back to the newsroom with Addie and Eleni to see what Mr. Meta's best thing he found on the internet last night. Thank you, Emily, for that weather report. I can't wait to go outside when I get home. Mr. Retta believes this video is the greatest video on the internet. A child and her dog are hanging, are singing a lovely song on a picnic table at a campsite. Let's roll it. was great. I might have to sing a song with my dog now. Lunch news. Make sure that you are using social distancing in line and in the kitchen at lunch. 
It's important that when you're waiting for anything in the kitchen that you wait on the red X's or blue circles. Also, remember to please to use pleases and thank yous in the kitchen to show our staff how much we appreciate it. Students picking up lunches for your social distancing days, please get it when parent pickup is called at the end of the day. Hey, Eleni, are you buying or packing today? I'm packing today. Let's head over to the kitchen to see what buyers will be getting for lunch today. Let's roll it. Hey everyone, today's menu is pasta with meatballs, spicy chicken sandwich, and Big Daddy's pizza. Make it a great day. Amazing lunch report. That food sounds amazing. Now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's now time for... <laughs> trivia! Let's hear the question of the day in the Eagle News Family Feud Trivia Studio. Thank you, ladies, and welcome to Trivia Night here on Eagle News. Remember, teachers, that you need to text Mr. Meta the answer to earn your points for today's show. Today's trivia question is, name an animal that likes to stick out its tongue. Again, name an animal that likes to stick out its tongue. Send Mr. Meta your answer to earn your points. Let's head back to the newsroom for today's Hispanic Latinx moment for today's sport and today's sports report. Our Hispanic and Latinx culture fact of the day is, since World War II, the United States has experienced a strong Latin influence in jazz, pop, and hip-hop music. Salsa, sambo, bossa, nova, meringue, reggaeton, tango, cueca, bolero, danzon, rumba, cumbaya, mambo, and the long list of types and variations of Latin music, each bringing their native rhythms and unique sound. And now for today's sports report. On Monday night, the Kansas City Chiefs took care of the New England Patriots 26-10 and the Green Bay Packers beat the Atlanta Falcons 30-16 with Aaron Rodgers throwing three touchdowns. In baseball, the division series started in the American League. In the first game, the Houston Astros won 8-5, defeating the Oakland A's, and in the second game, the New York Yankees crushed the Tampa Bay Rays 9-3. Hyatt's volleyball action. The eighth grade team beat Jackson game one win twenty five to twenty two. Game two lost thirteen to twenty five. And game three win twenty six to twenty four. In the eighth grade, the girls also beat Jackson. Game one win twenty five to eighteen. Game two lost twenty one to twenty five. And game three win twenty five to eighteen. That's it for sports. For our second video today, we're going to take a look at how the American Red Cross gets blood donations. This is very important for a lot of people to consider helping out, even now with the extra need for out there for blood. I'm Sarah. I'm Caroline. And I'm Emily here with Eagle News. And today we're going to be talking about how the American Red Cross seeks blood donations. The American Red Cross is an organization to help all people after natural disasters, wars, urgent calls, and what we will be talking about today, blood donations. The nation's blood supply has decreased since many of the blood drives have shut down all over the country since March, when the coronavirus started closing up everything. Having this blood shortage is causing people not to receive the blood they need. Blood is especially needed now to help treat some people with COVID cases and other blood cell diseases. There are many ways we can help save the lives of others. All you need to do is search up Red Cross blood drives and go to the Red Cross donation website. From there, you can find blood drive locations. There are even ones in Dublin and Lewis Center, which are right by us. By one click, you can find information about each and every one of them. There are so many ways we can help Eagles, and there are so many locations near us. All it takes is us to help. Video. Thanks, Caroline, Sarah, and Emily. Let's head to the studio with Emily for today's This Day in History. 
Thank you, Eleni. On October 7, 2003, actor Arnold Schwarzenegger was elected governor of California, the most popular state in the nation, with the world's fifth largest economy. Despite his inexperience, Schwarzenegger came out on top in the 11-week campaign to replace Gray Davis, who had earlier become the first United States governor to be recalled by the people since 1921. Schwarzenegger was one of the 135 candidates on the ballot, which included career politicians and actors. That's it for today's Eagle News, but before we go, we want to share with you our quote of the day. A champion understands that it's fine to savor an experience when it's positive to remember it, to celebrate it. My name is Eleni. My name is Addie. And my name is Emily. We yeah. all hope you enjoy. <laughs> we all. Watching today's news. <laughs> we all hope you enjoyed watching today's news. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Bye. Bye.